Hello everyone and welcome back to my Neofly career in Microsoft Flight Sim where I'm continuing from China in the DC-6A continuing in flights eastward around the world and I've got a flight to Taipei here uh, RCSS is the destination airport carrying old wine landing softly hopefully and 8,542 foot runway and yep, this looks like a good deal. The problem here is that the airport I landed at last time, HSC, isn't in Simbrief, so I can't use the Beyond ATC system or Simbrief because it doesn't have this airport that I'm starting out at. Uh, I specifically wanted a short flight here so that we can get back on track and use Beyond ATC after this, but I'm going to expedite this one. I'm looking at longer length missions after this. We'll see about that, but for now, let's pick up this one and make sure that everything is properly set up in Flight Sim. So I'll just start at the runway because I want to make this quick. We don't have the Beyond ATC stuff running. And next flight, I'll do the full startup procedure. Well, it is old wine. So this time it sounds right. Well, wish they'd be more gentle about it. Usually the bottles don't bang against each other so much because they have little cardboard dividers between them. Anyway. Okay, we've got the right payload there. To Taiwan. Oh, Gus Lock. And landing lights. Okay, up we go. Nice takeoff, pilot. Have a safe, steady flight. Gear up. Yep, interesting sort of elevated highway they have there. The only really striking feature around here. Okay, what's the situation? Well, we actually need some carb heat stuff and everything. Probably did some more damage that I shouldn't have done. Carb heat, yes. Cow flaps, not so much. Well, hopefully it'll get better. It's just straight east. 90 degrees. Alright, let's get some autopilotry. Flying into the sunrise, everything is looking okay. Currently north of Guangzhou. Right around there-ish. Should be a less than two hour flight. Okay, climbing through 12,000 feet, things are looking okay. The sort of report in here, the maintenance manager says that they're all yellow. So we're taking a chance here. Propeller hours are 13 on each. So we could service them, but uh, I have not done so. Oil temperature is a bit question marky, otherwise it says that the engine stress is green. And as far as question marky is concerned, I'm looking at the actual dials and they don't seem that bad to me. So I'm taking it. Okay, going with the superchargers on high. And that probably entails some adjustments. The carburetor temp is too high. It's always like this with the superchargers on high. I always end up with the carburetor temp question mark. Probably because I'm pushing the engines a bit. Well, I'm gonna level out at 14,000. Not because it's super efficient, but because it's going to look better. 
if we go too much higher we're not gonna, well not that there are many sites around here anyway but still this is about the height I want to be just for the look of the thing all flaps to zero all right but I think we're all set up now we are cruising speed slowly creeping up we've got uh, about eight knot tailwind gonna be going a little bit north of 270 knots ground speed and it was a 440 nautical mile trip all right approaching the coast now we're at 277 knots ground speed and that looks like a city there of course there are a lot of cities uh, Heon County Juyu District okay well something like that Bateau well the names change depending on how I zoom in on them so uh, it's a little bit hard to tell I'm mostly interested in this little bit here well it doesn't give me a name for just that area it's all right visually the coastline looks nice but uh, not a whole lot of detail on the land itself and this stuff is basically reading all the same we have about two hours of fuel left I packed plenty yeah it's mostly ick you really can't get worse textures than this it's really ick well there's all sorts of bits of land I uh, we sort of leave the coast a few times you can see little bodies of water behind us but there's always a little peninsula sticking out and possibly some extra islands you can see all sorts of little islands here okay we are now 45 nautical miles away and I'm going to begin the descent airport is an east-west runway so that's no problem okay Songshan Airport is ours Tower well it's cloudy around here it often seems cloudy when I fly over Taiwan but there are gaps so it's not too bad That's an uh, interesting, horrible patch to the photo scenery there. city back there is fine, but that block, not good. Okay, breaking below the clouds as I just sort of do a little turn around here. Okay, well. Sure hope Taipei looks better in Flight Sim 2024. Oh, I think I see the runway there. Okay, cleared. Clear to land runway one. I have to land softly. Yeah, I mentioned that because I might take liberties with other things in order to make sure I do. It's uh, like 18 knot headwind right now, so that's good. But we are approaching the runway slower than I thought we would be. Alright, well it's a nicer approach than some of the others I've had recently. Because, you know, there are more buildings. Up oh, a little bit high there. Trying to avoid the buildings, that's all. Okay, softly. Okay. Nice landing, pilot. She said nice landing. See? Contact ground for your parking assignment, uh, then shut down your engine. Maybe I can make this turn. 
Okay. Okay. Got off time. Okay, pilot. Removing the fragile goods may take a little longer than normal. Stand by. Okay, we could just flip that thing. All right. Transport 1 hour and 51 dispatch. minutes. Cargo unloaded and checked. It is always a pleasure to work with you. Okay, well we got the money. 340,000. Not too bad on the running costs. All right. Well, what kinds of flights? I mean, I've got these long-range ones potentially, but they're all like going in wrong directions. It very much prefers west and south to east and north. <laughs> um, but that's probably because of all the airports to the west and south, and there's only the Pacific otherwise. It's going to make me go to Russia. It's going to make me go to Russia like that. So that's not great. RJOW is good. That's Japan. I would have liked to have gone further into Japan. But this seems promising for a next flight. Won't be much to see. But yeah, it's the one that's going in the right direction. It'll be three to four hours. Eventually, we are going to cross that Pacific, and then we're going to be flying over America. All right, having taken a break, I'm going to pick up this mission. And let me get all set up. Arrival runway 11. Let me just tell it the altitude. I'll go with, I mean, we're going over water, so 15,000. So block fuel, it thinks only 10,000 pounds, but I'm going to carry a lot extra. Just clothing. And I will start on the ramp. I want a slot that's easy to get out of. Well, it's raining here. Transporter, cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Well, cargo isn't quite loaded. It always resets what I've put in. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this from memory instead of from a checklist. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, ground power, water injection, pump, injection pumps. And turn on the generators and inverters. Just have some lights, cabin master heater. Set the cow flaps to open. And I just like those on. Get the beacon since I'm gonna start the engines pretty soon. Okay, tanks on. Okay, starting with number three. I'll get that booster on. And hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Seems to have started. Let me get some carb heat on while I'm down here. Okay. Everything looks good okay, gus lock off. Taxi to the runway and take off. Well, I should have talked to Beyond ETC already. They had that update to do. 
Okay, to plain battery. And back over here we can get rid of the ground power unit. Things are still warming up. And I didn't do the carb heat on the last two yet. Okay, well, yeah, uh, we can see Taipei 101 there. Songshan Ground requesting taxi to runway, roll me off for 412. Alpha for one two. Runway one zero taxi via Alpha. Alpha. Well, here we go. Let me just double check the payload. Okay. Well, let's get some Aegis information Zulu. Songhang Airport information Zulu. Zero two two six Zulu. Wind one one five at one three. Fuel class at 900. Ceiling 2200 broken. 4500 broken. Temperature 22. 2.20. QNH 1019er. Landing and departing runway 10. Transition level 130. Advise on initial contact you have information Zulu. Get the uh, takeoff cow flaps. I'm surprised it cleared me for takeoff even though I wasn't anywhere near a runway. Okay, I was totally cleared for takeoff. That better not be a uh, plane on the other side there. And no, it's something else. Oh. Well, it was a plane, but it's avoided me. Interesting. Alright, off we go. Okay, pilot. Steady away. See you again soon. Gear up. Throttle down. Romeo Alpha four one two. Reset transponder. Squawk three one one one. Squawk three one one one. Romeo Alpha four one two. Romeo Alpha four one two. Contact Taipei Control, 124.6. 124.6, Romeo Alpha 412. Taipei Control, this is Romeo Alpha 412 climbing at 2,000 feet uh, to, uh, with Zulu. Romeo Alpha 412, Taipei Control, identified. Climb to one zero thousand feet. Q and H one zero one nine R. Climbing to one zero thousand feet. Q and H one zero one nine R. Roll me alpha four one two. Okay, departing Taiwan. Romeo Alpha four one two. Climb to flight level one five zero. Climbing to 150, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, looking good. Still climbing. Just about approaching 10,000. We're going to 15,000. And it's a long flight. Well, by my standards in this series, anyway. Okay, 12,000 feet. And high superchargers. Okay, that's 15,000. All right, we are cruising at 285 knots ground speed, tailwind about 20 knots. And yes, we have a long way to go. Seven hundred and twenty-three nautical miles. So a little under three hours. The radar temp needs a little bit of a raise. I'll go for a lower BMEP since we've got the tailwind and oil temps seem a bit high, so 
doesn't help the question marks over here, but it'll make me feel a little bit better. All right, we are roughly halfway through the flight. The winds changed on me, so I'm, I'm adjusting my course here because uh, we now have a crosswind. But yeah, well, it's been over water, so nothing a whole lot to see along the way. No, the plane's looking good, of course. And we're still clipping along at 277 knots. I've had to communicate with ATC a few times, going from Kobe control to Fukuoka control. But nothing for a little while now. Alright, we are approaching Japan, finally. You can see some land peeking through the clouds, but otherwise there's quite a lot of clouds. And then we have a turn to make here. Minor, minor turn. We're at 290 knots, uh, 35 knot tailwind, a little bit of skew, a little bit, about like a 45 degree angle. Alright, well that's Nagasaki over there. Well, uh, Nagasaki and a whole bunch of other cities really. Nagasaki Prefecture, that's for sure. Fukuoka Control, expecting radar vectors, arrival, runway 11, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, we've gotten clearance for our landing. We are passing by Fukuoka, and we've got about 90 nautical miles left. That is Fukuoka. Interesting island there. Or, yeah, I guess. Island with a causeway to it, I guess we'll call it. Backward view of Fukuoka. Romeo Alpha 412, radar vectors, ILS runway 11. Report ready for descent. Radar vectors ILS 11, uh, Romeo Alpha 412 ready for descent. Romeo Alpha 412, flight present heading, descent to 8,000 feet, QN H1028, Iwami Airport, landing runway 11. Descending to 8,000 feet, QN H1028, landing runway 11, uh, Romeo Alpha 412. Turn left, heading 025, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, 21 miles from Karato. Turn right, heading 075, main stain 2500 feet until established. Clear out ILS runway 11. Turn right, heading 075, maintain 2500, cleared approach, ILS 11, Romeo Alpha 412. Engine 2 is looking a bit different than the other engines. On the oil temp right now, up, oh, I need to zero that. It should be right in front of us. Oh, there it is. No tower services available at Iwami Airport? Iwami... oh yeah. Let's just select for landing. Fine. Not much wind around here at all. Yay. All right. That was a harder landing than we like to see. Pilot. It was not that on my little vertical velocity gauge. Taxi to parking and shut it was like a hundred only. That's not right. Now Iwami is a handcrafted. Well, it's a airport I got off of flightsim.to. 
it's a freeware special airport. 137 is more like what it's read on the velocity gauge. Vertical speed indicator. Got a lot of solar panels there. So yeah, this is presumably what... Oh! Uh, one of the engines is spinning down there. Okay, well I got back, but... Apparently didn't like the lower throttle. Engine 1 there. But yeah, apparently this is what Iwami Airport looks like, I would presume. They didn't go through all the trouble making it like this for nothing. And aside from one little airplane, I'm all... it's all to me. Hagi Iwami. There's that vehicle in the way, so I'm just gonna park over here. Well, let me not leave it in this state for too long. Stand by, pilot. Cargo unloading. I guess technically I should put the gust lock back on, huh? Transporter, the cargo has been delivered. Nice work. Have a nice day. Okay. Now to do it three hours and five minutes. Everything is on board. Okay, everything is definitely not on board. Well, I was hoping for more than that after a three hour flight. Flying long distance doesn't really help with this plane very much. Because uh, the rented aircraft running cost is 205 and then we got 432 Then to take a bigger chunk with the running costs, it seems. I was hoping to get to a million. But, oh, but the, there's not as much bonus on this one because it didn't have any special requirements like land softly and stuff like that. So maybe that was an issue. But, yep, we are here in Japan again. Of course, I started here. But this time we will be moving on quickly, onward, eastward. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.